What's up guys? If you are looking for the perfect Irish Guinness brown bread recipe, then I have got you covered and just in time for St. Patrick's Day. I really hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you do, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my baking videos. Now let's get into the recipe. You will need 350 grams of stone ground wholemeal flour, 75 grams of fine porridge oats, 50 grams of plain white flour, 10 grams of salt, and 12 grams of bread soda, two fresh large free range eggs, 30 milliliters of a flavorless oil. I'm using vegetable oil today, 300 milliliters of buttermilk, 30 grams of molasses. And lastly, the main event, 200 mils of good, strong Irish Guinness. So as always, we are dumping all of our dry ingredients into a bowl first. I'm going to sieve through my salt and through my bread soda. There's nothing worse than bread soda that doesn't get dispersed properly in a mixture. It gives off this terrible, metallic, awful taste that will make you never want to eat bread again. So please make sure that you sieve your bread soda. Give everything a really good mix through. Make sure that your salt, your bread soda, your oats, your flours are all really nicely combined. Next up are our wet ingredients. We're going to take our buttermilk and crack in those two large free range eggs. Add in our oil, then go ahead and weigh in your 30 grams of molasses. And lastly, without spilling it everywhere like I did, add in your 200 milliliters of Guinness. Now a lot of Guinness brown bread recipes tend to use what is called black treacle instead of molasses. And you would tend to see black treacle in a lot of sweet recipes. And you'd also see sugar added in a lot of these recipes. That's not how we eat bread in Ireland. Unless you're making a fruit bread or a bread that is considered in the sweet category, we don't add much sugar at all. Because that molasses is so sticky and coagulated, it really does need to be worked very well through the mix. As you can see here, the more that you dig in and fold over, you find these pockets of flour and bicarb and porridge that haven't been mixed in well. And if you put that in the oven, that is not going to bake properly and you're going to end up with that mouthful of bicarbonate of soda unbeknownst to yourself. And now for our bread tin. If you haven't seen my video on how to line a bread tin just like this, that is zero waste, reusable, will save you a ton of time in your kitchen every time you want to bake this loaf, then click the link in the description box below and also click the card that is floating above right now after this video and it will take you straight there so you can learn how to make this for yourself. Go ahead and pour your mixture into your bread tin Take a spatula, smooth out the top and top with a topping of your choice. Personally today, I have used sunflower seeds. You can also use pumpkin seeds. The choice is completely yours. We are going to bake this in a preheated fan oven at 170 degrees Celsius. Please make sure to adjust your oven accordingly. And after one hour and five minutes in my oven, there she is, our beautiful Irish Guinness brown bread perfect for eating on its own with, you guessed it, good Irish butter or as an accompaniment to a gorgeous hearty bowl of soup. Make sure you leave it to cool down fully on a wire rack. I know it's incredibly tempting to cut into it. It should be cool in one to two hours depending on the temperature in your kitchen and then you are ready to slice in. I really hope you love this recipe as much as I do and if you do give it a go, don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below. Also tag me on my social media or send me a message and let me know that you have tried it. Links to all of my socials are in the description box below. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my videos and turn on the notification bell to get notified every single time I post. I'm really looking forward to seeing you back on my channel really soon. Bye.